Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got something super exciting for y'all. Okay, so who in the room, I don't know, who has wanted to buy a Natasha Denona palette and saw that price tag of $129 and was just like, er, no, no, cannot. That'd be me. So I have found dupes for both of her super popular palettes. Now I have the dupe for Desert, or no, oh god, I have the dupe for the Lila palette, I'm getting so confused, but you're going to have to come back in a couple of days to see this, because if you can't tell by what's on my eyes today, we covered the dupe for the Sunset palette. <clears throat> this is the box, cruelty free, everything good, came off of Hush by Bad Habit, who would have thought, and here is the palette looks really similar right okay so for anyone who's wondering on a price point these retail for 16 each or i think you can still buy them if you buy both you get them for 24 so that's 12 dollars a palette which is literally a tenth of what you would pay for the actual natasha genome palette which is insane Hush is stepping up their game. Like they said, they had two new dupes coming out. And I was like, please, God, be the Natasha Denona's. And it was. My prayers were answered. So uh, this is the look I created. I'm about to show y'all how I did this. And uh, give you a little feedback on how the palette performed. But before we do that, time for swatches. Okay, guys. So we have these swatches. I know they're always so lopsided. But we have the first row the second row and the last row and check this out they are so stinking pigmented and those shimmers are gorgeous like even the yellow is spot on so yeah these are the swatches time for the tutorial okay so this is going to be just my regular talk through tutorial and uh, I am using brushes that look dirty but I have one of these things, which are incredible, by the way. I will be telling you how I got this for free soon. But we're going to go ahead and dip into this. And we're just going to take this color Fall first. Actually, lies. We're going to take Spring first, and we're going to use that as our all-over transition. It's a little bit of fallout, but nothing too crazy like usual with these palettes and once I get to some detail work I'm going to zoom y'all in just a little bit more but for now we're just going to stay right here okay so let's zoom in just a hair and we are going to go in with summer right there bright yellow and we're just going to take that and put it really high up in the crease okay y'all i'm blown away <laughs> by this pigment uh, next, we are going to go into fall, the one I was going to use earlier, and we're going to put that a little bit lower down. Okay, I'm going to have to take a little more yellow, because I forgot to tap me off with the orange and put that right there and that'll help blend it together okay then we're gonna go into basque right here with a smaller brush and we're gonna put it right up in the crease it's got a little bit of shimmer Okay, 
So now we are going to hop into a shimmer shade. <clears throat> and I want to use Soul right here. It's a very yellow shimmer. And I want to put that all over the lid just on my finger. Ooh. Well then, okay, so I'm super bright right now. Check out this pigment, you guys. That's for real. Let me turn. Okay, y'all, check out this pigment. I know I'm looking crazy, but <clears throat> I wanted to try all the crazy colors. So, then we're going to take a little bit of rays right here and stick that in the inner corner. Last but not least, we're going to check out this matte white and put it in the brow bone. Okay, so I'm just going to stick a couple of colors in my lower lash line and I think I'm just going to take Fall and Basque, that's the orange and the red, and just run those right through there alright so let me hop off here take care of some things and I'll be right back okay you guys so this is gonna be the final look I'm kind of blown away like I've never actually tried a Natasha Denona palette shocker I'm not gonna pay $129 for one palette that's crazy I'm sure they're amazing and if I was the kind of person that could just do that I might but I can't like most people so uh yeah I mean I don't know how those palettes perform but uh this pigment is real you guys this is pretty top shelf I'm actually really liking this little sunset vibe I've got going on even though we're not sunset we're solstice <laughs> but yeah, I definitely like this palette. There's a little bit of kickback, you know, no big deal, nothing crazy. You might want to tap your brush off because that pigment comes out like crazy if you couldn't see when I messed up with that orange a little bit. So, uh, yeah. And side note, if you like this lippy, tune in probably next week and I will tell you which one it is and how you could possibly get your hands on it. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be my review for this palette. I hope y'all enjoyed. I know I did. And I will see y'all on Thursday. Bye, you guys.